Mike, one thing that jumped out when you were drafted was just how excited Brendan Daly was to, to have you on the roster. And I'm curious how far you think your game has come in, in the short amount of time that you've been able to work with them and, and maybe some examples of that. Yeah, Coach Daly is a great coach. He's been through this process with me since day one, you know, whether it's teaching through the video format or doing on the field work, his teaching is always A1. And I've been able to adapt to his, you know, techniques and how he wants things did. And I think he's a great coach and he's an even better individual off the field. So I got a lot of love, a lot of respect for him already. And I only been out here for like, what, about a month, so. Let's go next to Herbie. Go ahead, Herbie. Hey, Mike, uh, two questions here for you. Uh, when did you know, first off, last week that you would be active for the season opener? And, what, you know, how did you prepare yourself for that debut? And then lastly, big Michigan present there on the, on the defensive line, Taco Charlton and then obviously Frank Clark. How much are you picking their brains as you go into your rookie year? Well, for the first question, all I really did was just practice every day, come ready to practice every single day, you know, uh, do what I was supposed to do and, you know, prepare the way I should have, you know. Uh, I knew it was like the first week of the season, the season opener, and it was real big and highly anticipated. But, you know, uh, I just came in and did what I had to do and do what I was asked to do. Then for like being with all the Michigan guys, yeah, of course I'm picking their brains. You know, they've been in the league for some time. They got some experience under their belt. So whatever game or food for thought they can give me, I'm always picking at them. Let's go next to Seren Petro. Good, Seren. Uh, Mike, how would you describe your game? Like, if you were to talk about, because, uh, you know, you've kind of played a lot of positions, right, back in college. They've used the inside, outside. Uh, if you were to describe your, your game, how would you describe it? I would describe it as a versatile, physical um, football player. You know, um, I've lined up outside, inside, did some stand-up, drop back. So, you know, I'm all over the place in the front seven. So, you know, uh, I say first things first, I'm, I want to be physical. Then, you know, I uh, got a little finesse to me, so don't fall asleep on that. <laughs> Let's go next to Matt Derrick. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Mike. I I'm just curious, you know, what were your emotions on Thursday going out there for your first game? And in the fourth quarter, it looked like you were really getting close to Deshaun Watson a couple of times. What was it – what was going through your head while you're chasing him on an NFL field? Uh I was locked in, you know. I wasn't uh, too nervous or, you know – too uh, uh, worried about what my responsibility was. I knew how I prepared. I knew how serious this was. And I knew that this was a platform where, you know, um, the margin for error is really slim. So, you know, I wanted to be out there do what I had to do. And, you know, uh, when my number was called, I wanted to give coach and my teammates everything I had on the field. Looks like we've got one more hand up. Let's go to Matt McMullen to finish this off. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Mike. So when you were first drafted, what you talked about was when you um, transferred from Central Michigan to Michigan, it helped. You wanted to feel like what that the bigger uh, step was. It would help your progression and get to the NFL. Did you feel like that helped you when you were out in the field on on, on Thursday night? You, uh, you feel like that jump helped you with the speed of the game at all? Absolutely. You know, and I think one of the biggest part it helped me with was like adapting to the new environment, you know, being able to adapt when flying bullets are, you know, flying at you. And I think that one leap, you know, was able to give me a little bit of boost, you know, kind of know what to expect being in a new environment with new players and being with a new scheme, all that kind of made me feel comfortable. So when I took this step to the NFL, I was able to, you know, to take the proper precaution to uh, do what I had to do. Mike, we really appreciate your time today. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, you guys. Take it easy.